RF man here. Today I want to demonstrate my dual LD MOS amplifier. Many of you have seen this amplifier on YouTube before. Uh, the difference in tonight's demonstration is I'm going to be using my striker radio set at 28 megahertz, which is the beginning of the 10 meter band. And I'm going to show how the amplifier performs first in AM mode, then upper sideband and lower sideband. So let's start with AM. What I'd like to show in AM mode, uh, this watt meter is on 5 watts, on the 5 watt scale here. Okay, so that would be the lower scale here. Okay, and we'll show the dead key. It's about 0.5 watts or 500 milliwatts. Now let's take a look at the drain current or supply current. Same thing. And now we're about 25 amps or so. And let's take a look here at the bird meter. I'm using a bird 43 line section as usual. And I'm using a 2500 watt slug. Okay, so that would be the upper scale that you see there. So about center scale here, this is a 1000 watts, 1500 watts, etc. Okay, so we'll go ahead and dead key it. Looks like just about a thousand watts. Of course, I can set the dead key higher, but I typically use a thousand watts for these type of demonstrations. So now we'll go ahead and below the volume and we'll go ahead and test it with upper sideband. Okay, so I'm going to change this to the 50 volt, a 50 watt rather scale. And let's take a look at the swing. Okay, in upper sideband, remember in AM we had about a half a watt dead key. So let's take a look in upper sideband, take a look at the swing. Okay, so now we're on the 50 watt scale. Audio! Looks like about 20 watts or so swing. Okay, let's take a look at the current. Audio! Looks like about 35 amps. Okay, and let's take a look at the output power. Audio! Looks like about 1250 on the output. So now we'll go ahead and go to lower sideband. You can see there. We're still on the 10 meter band, so at 28 megahertz. Okay, we'll do the same thing. We'll look at the swing when we modulate. Audio. Audio. Looks about the same, 20 watts or so. Take a look at the supply current. Audio. 35 amps or so. And then we'll take a look at the output power. Audio. Looks like we got a little more out of it in the lower sideband, about 1500 watts. So a lot of you have been asking me how the amplifier performs in sideband mode. So I wanted to take the time and demonstrate this um, with just a half a watt of input drive. You could, you could go up to 1 watt, 1.5 watts. That's probably going to give you somewhere around 30 or, or 40 watt swing. Okay, and that would increase your output power considerably and also your drive current. Um, performance is, is the same on different bands. I'm, I'm pretty limited here uh, with, the, with the striker radio. I can go 10 and 12 meter. Um, I've compared both bands, they perform the same. So I just wanted to uh, address some of the questions that my customers have had about sideband mode and just do a quick demonstration. All right, RF man, thank you.